ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. John Belkwitz and it's been a little bit since I've been here to talk to you about concrete neat from my head down to my feet. And it's Q&A! What is it? Q&A no. Wednesday? No! Screw it up. We're just talking. Just talking. Is it a coffee talk? Of course, because I don't have any coffee. So, what are we talking about today, Haley? What are the benefits, pros and yeah, cons, pros and cons for concrete, concrete countertops? countertops. Uh, pros and cons for concrete countertops. Let's start out with the cons. First of all, um, it's not a forgiving material when it comes to dropping things on it. For mica, um, even though paneling tends to allow things to bounce a little bit before they shatter. With concrete, when it falls, it kind of just breaks. So that's one of the biggest problems. The other thing is, um, it's very heavy. You can do a lightweight concrete, you can even do thin sections. But that still being said, it's more expensive and harder to move around. Uh, so if you did want to just scooch things over a little bit here and there, it's not as easy to move around. That being said, uh, oh, starting into the pros, and we're not there yet. It, it is hard to find a good concrete countertop uh, company out there. You can get the precast ones and get it cut to fit. Uh, just like you would a marble countertop, so those are a little bit easier and less expensive. But if you're going the custom countertop route, um, especially if you're looking for something interesting with different details and colors and maybe fiber optics, you're definitely going to be paying a lot more money. And if you don't get a good concrete countertop person, they're doing a, ca uh, a cast in place, they can leave concrete all over the place. So just be aware who you're working with, do your research. Um, and that should be all good. Now I have to do a pros list. One, you can do anything with it. It's gorgeous. You can do exposed aggregate like we did, glow in the dark like we did, colored like we did. We're also putting an optical fiber section to it. So your imagination is really your limit. Uh, yes, it is heavy, but it does give you that nice industrial look. Um, and then even a faux granite or marble look too, if you don't have the money to do that, or if you want different colors or different designs. Um, it is more durable than the, you know, the paneling and the Formica. It's going to last you a very, very long time. Oh, one of the cons. If you don't seal it properly, it's not resilient to acids, vinegars, sugars, you know, different types of food stuffs. Breaks concrete apart. Back onto the pros list. Um, yeah, I just love the look of it. And I'm okay with all those cons. I mean, it's expensive, but you have it forever. It's a gorgeous look. Yeah, I really don't see anything. I, I, I get the pros. I know they're there. But when it comes to looking at a concrete countertop and making that decision, when we switch our countertops from, I don't know, I think they're granite right now or marble, um, we'll be switching them to concrete countertops and we're going to have a good time with them. Uh, the different colors and the optical fibers and the different patterns that we can put in there as well as glow in the dark. I, I really love the look and what you can do. So many cool concepts. So yeah, if you're not into that, I, I would go with a less expensive, lighter option, which is those paneling or, you know, the marble or granite, so, which is not less expensive. It's actually quite a bit more and much more heavier. And plus, one of the pros with concrete is we're not tearing out these huge slabs of granite and marble from the ground with a lot of these concrete countertops, we can effectively go to a recycled concrete aggregate option and do a lot for sustainability for the earth, even though we're acting locally, we're having a global effect. So hopefully you learned some. Good to be back. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications.